One minute. All right, Shortly we're here. After liftoff, Mission Control Houston will take control of the rocket. And there's and one minute. Leah Cheshire will take over commentary. T minus 50 seconds and counting. 50 seconds. T minus 33 seconds. The is GLS it going to launch? I, just, to I can't even believe it's going to launch. The autonomous launch sequencer on board the rocket. It will take over. It's 1047 here in Los Angeles. But the ALS will check. Make and they're sure threatening no to launch this thing. The ground up until T minus Such a complicated and we are go for ALS. matter here. The space it? launch system it's crazy. is now counting down to lift off of Orion on its maiden voyage to the moon. I think it's going to do it. I think it's going to do it. Launch team can no longer recycle the count. They can't recycle the count. It's going to happen. Sounds of pressure water now flowing 15. under the ML. <laughs> Freaking out because I don't think. And here we go. Oh my God! There it goes. Hydrogen burn off igniters initiated. Seven. Lighting it. Six. Lighting five, it. Four stage engine start. I that water. I don't know. The water is so it doesn't one. like ruin Boost everything. Oh my God! There it goes. And lift off of Artemis One. <laughs> it's going. We rise together. It's going. There's no going back now. And beyond. Wow! I feel like playing the uh, Space Force theme or something. This is incredible. There it goes. Four wow. hours, 25 engines on the core stage and two solid rockets. It's going! Propelling the vehicle at 128 miles per hour. <laughs> Pairing good, con good control on the roll from teams in Mission Control Houston. All good calls so far. Now Look at that thing! Into the flight of Artemis 1. Wow. The first milestone will be for the vehicle to pass through max Q at about 1 minute and 9 seconds into launch. This is the max greatest Q. period of atmospheric force on the rocket. I never thought this thing would go. It's been months. That's now traveling 607 miles per hour. <laughs> go, 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 go. 8.8 million pounds of maximum thrust quiet here in the loops of mission control. Four core stage engines throttling down ahead of passing through max Q. Oh my God, there goes our taxpayer money right there. Wonder how much that costs. It's cool looking though. Ow! Ow! Ah! My head! Ah! I'm knocking off! Come on, it burns! I'm gonna move over here. The four core stage engines are back at maximum thrust. That's better. The next major milestone will be for the solid rocket boosters to cut off and jettison at about two minutes and eleven seconds into the flight. They said a night launch was gonna be cool. Again, sure it is. It's better than fireworks. Houston, as teams continue monitoring the flight of Artemis One, we're now 16 miles downrange from the launch pad at Kennedy Space Center, traveling over 2,800 miles per hour. Can you turn your radio down? There's an echo. Standing by for solid rocket booster jettison, and shortly thereafter. Yes, solid rocket booster jettison. Wow. Looks like something's happening. Hopefully it's good. Confirmation that the solid rocket boosters have separated these 177 foot boosters. Now the core stage continues to power the flight of Orion, all four RS-25 engines firing, traveling over 3,400 miles per hour, 46 miles downrange. This is nuts. Why don't they have the rocket uh, Two minutes camera? And 36 seconds into like the they flight. have in uh, Elon Hearing Musk's nominal calls here rockets. in Mission Control Houston. We've still got four good engines on the core stage. Next up, we'll be looking for the service module fairing to separate. This is three 15 by 15 foot fairing what are we panels. Looking at now? Providing tank structural battle? support, protecting the service module. tank battle. Those will separate at about three minutes and 11 seconds into flight, and very shortly thereafter will be followed by the launch abort system separation. This Just over amazing. three minutes into the flight of Artemis One, now traveling over 4,060 miles per hour, 83 miles downrange. Seems like it's going well. I can't, we just had confirmation that the service tell. module fairing has separated. Service module. Oh, there we go. There's a rocket cam. And that, that the launch abort system pyros have fired, separating those from Orion as well. Wow. For future crew members. Uh-oh, what was that? That doesn't sound good. It sounds like a little, like when somebody's got a balloon and they're letting the air out just a little bit. 
Maybe that's what she's doing. Maybe she's celebrating. With we just them. heard the call for three engine press, meaning if SLS were to lose an engine at this point in the mission, we could still achieve a nominal mission. We would just have an extended main engine cutoff time. However, we still have four good engines all at maximum thrust right now, powering the first Crazy. flight of Artemis at 5,200 miles per hour, 145 miles downrange. 200 miles per hour. <laughs> oh, my God. Is that it or is that just that's just a pretend one? That's not it. But I guess that's We're probably four what it looks like now. We're 4 minutes 16 seconds into the flight of Artemis 1. So far we've had a clean ascent. We saw those solid rocket boosters jettison about 2 minutes and 11 seconds after liftoff. Shortly after we had the service module pairing Beautiful. panels fairings separate as well as the launch abort system. The launch abort system was inert for this flight except to perform this separation. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Those four core stage engines will continue to fire and power the flight of Artemis 1, now traveling over 6,800 oh, so miles per hour, 229 so great miles downrange. I just never thought it was going to happen. Booster flight controller <laughs> reports that <laughs> the look engines go. are looking good. Engines are looking good. Everything is happening. So happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. I see the Artemis flying. We are now at five minutes and 11 seconds into the flight. 70, so wonderful to see. Miles per hour. I am so happy that it is flying in the air. Again, four good core stage engines. Those four RS-25 engines. Beautiful. It's a beautiful rocket. The last time those core stage <laughs> engines flew, they were taking space shuttles to orbit. So beautiful. Now with upgraded capabilities, they're launching the future of human hey, space flight. They're launching this future of human space flight. Five minutes, 42 seconds into the mission. We are now traveling 8,800 miles per hour, Dude, 345 I am miles so, down bro. from the launch pad at Kennedy Space Center. Bro, I'm so glad, bro, that it finally got up in the air. Again, we are anticipating core stage main engine cutoff at about eight minutes and three seconds. And about 10 seconds later, we'll see core stage separation, at which point Orion and the interim cryogenic propulsion stage will be flying free. Bro. So awesome, bro. Now traveling over 10,000 miles per hour, six minutes and 15 seconds into the flight of Artemis 1, 427 miles downrange. Quiet here on the loops in Mission Control Houston. Teams right continue to monitor this first flight. Quiet on the loops, everybody. Quiet on the loops. About a minute and a half now until that core stage main engine cutoff time. Our four core stage engines continue to fire maximum thrust. Bro, maximum thrust, bro. I was telling you that we were going to need some maximum thrust at this point. It's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. I like it. Coming like up on seven lot. minutes since launch today, now traveling over 12,800 miles per hour. 12,800 miles, miles Again, per still hour. Still quiet here <laughs> in Mission Control, Houston. <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy, crazy talk. You gotta be kidding me, bro. As we prepare for main engine cutoff, the four RS-25 engines are beginning to throttle down. Love it. I've never seen anything like it. Kind of beautiful. Now we're not really looking at anything. 30 seconds now until core stage main engine cutoff. All four engines continue to throttle down. I think it's going well. Maybe they. Maybe it was good that they waited so long. Now seven minutes, 45 seconds into the flight, traveling over 16,000 miles per hour. Continuing to hear good calls here in Mission Control, Houston. It takes a lot to get into space. We're standing by you. for core stage main engine cutoff. Nuts. Why are we just looking at a picture? I guess otherwise we'd just be looking at like. And we have confirmation of core stage main engine Nothing. cutoff. Orion is now in Earth's orbit. The flight dynamics officer reports that we have a nominal main engine cutoff. 
and we just heard the call for core stage separation. That means Orion and the interim cryogenic propulsion stage are now flying free from the core stage of the space launch system. The next milestone will be solar array deploy approximately 18 minutes after liftoff. But before Orion stretches its wings, let's check back in with our friends at Kennedy Space Center and hear all about what it was like to hear the rocket roar off the launch pad. Megan and Kayla, I've got to hear all about it. All right, Megan, <laughs> well, Kayla. Well, just joining us. Welcome I to NASA's Kennedy Space Center, where we just watched.